It's half past ten. This is BBC Essex. News headlines now from Sonia Watts. Thanks, Dave. Good morning. The Archdeacon of Colchester has told this programme she's deeply saddened that the Church of England Synod has rejected plans for women bishops. Clap Newman and something in the air. Uh, well, no, forget something in the air, something in your mouth right now. Uh, we hear a lot about apps, don't we, these days? Apps. App, little applications, little apps. Apps. Digital programs on your smartphone designed to make everyday life a lot easier. Now, some are useful, some are a complete waste of time. But dentists at the Bluebell Dental Practice in Chigwell have launched their very own app for your teeth. Now, I had to find out about this because I think this is so interesting. Uh, Dr. Suki Shakti was involved in the project and joins me now. Suki, good morning. Good morning, Dave. So what does your app do? Well, the app is very useful because patients are able to take photos of their teeth. Um, the app will show you exactly what you need to do and you take various photos and you submit the photos to us. And therefore, we'll be able to evaluate, um, you know, for, for free, whether you are suitable for treatment for the invisible tooth straightening. And uh, so initially, you uh, have people lead such busy lives, they're able to get an idea whether they're suitable for the treatment. And this is one of the projects that we're doing, and we are sort of, you know, thinking of developing further things that can improve oral health, um, like tooth brushing techniques, and um, also whether regarding gum disease as well. And do you, do you think it, this is being done anywhere else? Because I haven't heard of it no, before. No, this is the first, uh, for all we know, this is the first dental app. We, we developed the app initially to be an educational tool and to show patients of various, um, you know, various... Um, and give, you know, different treatments they yeah. can have. Yeah. And incidentally, the, the most popular one was the invisible tooth straightening, which I'm quite passionate about. And it's a very popular treatment that came from the States, but it's been in this country 10 years, but people are quite unaware of, it, of this treatment. Because the, the Americans absolutely ridicule us for our teeth, don't they? I mean, they can't believe that we've got such crooked, odd teeth yeah. in the 21st century. Yeah, true. But I think we are, we are developing, we are changing. It is very important to have straighter teeth, not only for the appearance, but also for our health. If you... Uh, you know, have straighter teeth, it's much easier to clean, so therefore you don't have problems with the gum. And if you have gum problems, the bacteria that cause gum problems are linked with heart disease and stroke. So, you know, it is better overall for our or overall oral health if we have straighter teeth, as well as, of course, the cosmetic side is, is an added bonus. So going, going back to this, the app th for the straighter teeth thing, I mean, what do you do? You bung your mobile phone in your mouth and click a picture, do you? I mean, you, you, you need to only submit six photos, and one is just in front, showing the front teeth and then the side profile view, and you can actually... It, basically uh, angle your upper and lower and mouth so that oh. you can take a reasonable photo. From that, we can assess whether you're suitable for the treatment. I see. And, and is it expensive? I mean, I, I, this, this, I can see the pound, the, you know, the pound signs going up and down well, here. I think that considering that uh, for adults in this country, braces are uh, a private treatment anyway, the, with the Invisalign, it is a private treatment and it ranges from how the severity of your crookedness and it starts from 1,400 for a very minor correction to 3,500 for a full correction, which is, you know, someone who needs extensive work, um, which I think is reasonable because orthodontics in this country privately is can be even more than that. So, I'm going, going back, I remember, you know, when I was at school, which was many years ago, um, you, you always felt terribly sorry for the people who had, you know, a, a bits of Meccano stuck in their mouth. Yeah. Uh, I mean, those metal braces were pretty grim, weren't they? Yeah. yeah. But the, the, I, I assume we've moved on a bit since then, have we? It, it, well, for children, the, those braces are still available because uh, oh, under, under NHS, uh, more severe cases can 
still be done with that particular type of treatment. But this is available for not just children, it's for adults of any age. Yeah. And most of our patients are in their 40s to 60s. So, you know, it, it is, it's aimed at people who missed out the first time round. So how do you straighten teeth then? Because, you know, I, I assume you just have to put a lump of metal in your mouth and crank them round, do you, or what? Not at all, not at all. This is like a clear liner. It looks a bit like a gum shield that you might use for sport. Right. But it, it's literally a series of aligners that change slightly, and you change them every two weeks. So each aligner moves the teeth along further and is removable, so it's fantastic because therefore you can take it off and you can eat whatever you like. Right. You can brush your teeth how you like. You, you, there's no oral hygiene issues. Yeah. And also, it, it, you know, it's practically invisible. Um, you know, you, you can see sometimes somebody's got it in, but a lot of the patients tell me that no one, none of their colleagues at work notice that they've got this in. So it's a lovely um, treatment in the sense that ethically you're moving the teeth into the correct position. Yeah. You're avoiding them having lots of crowns and veneers to create that look. Yeah. Because you were telling me uh, while that piece of music was playing that your teeth continue to move. Because I was telling you that mm. I, I had, when I was younger, a big gap between my two front teeth. But as I've got older, <laughs> it's all closed up. Most of us, have, the teeth are still moving. And so, you know, if you've had braces when you were 12, 13, and they're perfectly straight, if you don't wear the retainer, then by 17, 18, they've crowded again. And so some of the cases we're doing are those lapse cases, but they still continue to move. So even though you were reasonably happy in your 20s or 30s with your teeth, sometimes when you get to 50s, they're really crowded and very difficult to clean. So a lot of my patients have it done not just for the cosmetics, but for, you know, difficulty in cleaning, you know, they, bite, they want to improve their bite so they can eat better. So I think there are many reasons for doing the straightening. Actually, broadening it out, from what you were saying earlier on, broadening it out to, to much more to sort of dental health generally, a lot of people don't go to the dentist now because it's quite an ex expensive, you know, even NHS yeah. is quite an expensive option for a lot of people now and they're not going to the dentist. Can you see the idea of an app being broadened so that you could just take a picture of your mouth and send it to an NHS dentist who could say, you know, you need to come in, you don't need to come in. No, I don't think that's advisable. I think even with our app, we, we give initial assessment, but we always say to them, it's better for them to come in because we actually need to probe the gums and make sure they are actually healthy. Yeah. And, you know, the photos might not always be clear and you might miss somebody who has an oral cancer or a white patch or, or a red patch. Sometimes there's a pre-malignant lesion. Mm. So I, I, this is just another tool that we use. But it, it is not an answer to getting rid of the, the usual visit, I'm afraid. <laughs> That's still a long way off. Um, uh, I think it's much safer for you to go in and find a dentist that you, you have a good relationship with, uh, you, who can assess you. And they will set the recall time for you, you know, whether you need to be six monthly or 12 monthly. So, Suki, have you had many downloads of this app We've yet? had, in the UK, 40,000 downloads. You're kidding! Yes. <laughs> and I've treated patients who've come through the app um, and because some of the leads are from Scotland and obviously we're based in Essex and uh, in, in London we, you know, we can only treat the patients that are from our area so we're now planning to send these leads to key Invisalign providers in parts of the UK <laughs> and Ireland I can imagine if every, every one of those 40,000 came back to you and said, actually, I think we'll come to you. Uh, you <laughs> that would be wonderful. A, you'd have that a bit of a problem, wouldn't you? <laughs> that would be wonderful. But I, I think, you know, despite all this, I think still people don't know how great this treatment is, and I think that we're trying to get it out to the more yeah. general public. And so how do you get the app? You can just download it on an iPhone, iPad, or an Android. You just type in Invisible Braces Scan. All right. Thank you very much indeed, Dr. Suki Shakti there from uh, Chigwell.